His name is Mu Tunfei, better known as T.F. Mu. He is perhaps one of Asia's most controversial filmmakers. He has directed some of the most graphic films ever made. But also the most political. His most famous film, Men Behind the Sun, is a searing condemnation of Japan's war crimes. Yeah! Now, let's sit back and have a conversation with T.F. Moo. I'm Audrey, original from China, you know, northern China, I'm in Shandong province. I moved to Taiwan in 49. I was about small. Then uh, I educated in Taiwan. I started doing film business uh, in Taiwan. Then I worked in Taiwan, then, but the, my first two films, the Taiwan government banned it. The reason they banned it is because they say it's uh, political. Uh, in that time, Taiwan government is quite tight. Uh, they don't like to talk about them. The film filmmaker or artist talk about the uh, social problems, you know, ideas. They want the people, the filmmaker, artist, to only talk about the romantic, you know, that, that kind of stuff. Anything to talk about the political, social problem that's concerned. Uh, Top, top of me too. That's why they uh, banned it. Yeah, then I, I left. Because, okay, you don't like me, I just left. You know? yeah. So I go to Europe, travel around for four or five years. Then I come back to Hong Kong. Yeah. And I work for shopping. Yeah. I move a bunch of junk film. Moo's first film for the Shaw Brothers would be Gun, a segment in Criminals 5, A Teenager's Nightmare, the fifth film in a series of true crime anthologies produced by the Shaw Brothers studio. I should have gone on this very simple story. It has a very simple subject. It's gone all the light. It's not an accident. Sometimes it happens. It just happens for no reason. Gun, one gun makes people's life change. Pick up a gun somewhere, change your life. That's it. Moo's next job for the Shabras would be his work on Dreams of Eroticism. The film would be a mix of sexploitation and martial arts based on a popular novel. The film would require the efforts of no less than four Shaw Brothers directors to complete, including T.F. Mu, along with Hua Shan, Sun Sheng, and Ho Meng Hua. One filmmaker in, in Hong Kong, in Japan, yeah. called uh, the director Li Yan Shan. He, he made a, a serious film about this, this book. Yeah. Then another director, filmmaker, Make another different version of this, this ah. book. Then Shawblood, Shaw, Reverend Shaw, Shaw found out from the newspaper. Then he said, call all the directors, I mean, I mean all the directors, the young director. Okay, make a film, same film, sexy. So four of us. Get together to make a film in seven days. Finish the whole film in seven days. Wow. Four guys work together. The old studio stuff, other film withdraw. 
we move in, all this, use all the procedures. We finished in seven, seven days. Yeah. The eight days we show and see if, yeah. T.F. Mu's next film for the studios would be Bank Busters. It would be one of his most personal films he directed at the Shaw Brothers Studios. So personal, in fact, that it was later censored upon its release in Hong Kong. Bank Busters tells the story of a group of refugees from mainland China living in Hong Kong who rob banks to make a living. Yeah, we're 